What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Campfire Gaming. Today I'm going to be talking about Rocket League. And if you don't already know, Rocket League just updated, yeah, a free update. And it's called Rocket League Hoops. You, uh, look at this. Look at it. Oh my gosh. And that wasn't even me. <laughs> but no, it's essentially Rocket League and basketball. Uh, back in March, they teased it with a couple pictures on their social media. And I have been waiting. Uh, I've been waiting for this. And it delivers. Uh, there's some things I do like and then I don't like. But I'll get more into that later. Right now, let's just break it down. Rocket League and basketball. That's that's all you need to know. But no, it's it is a little different. The ball seems a little heavier uh, compared to like the soccer ball. And definitely, I'm not even gonna get into the hockey puck or anything like that. Um, but the game is so much fun. From the videos that I would see in the pictures, in my head, I was like, wow, that goal is just huge. There's no way the scores aren't gonna be ridiculous, like 10 to 12 or some stupid stuff thing like that. No, it is so hard to freaking shoot a goal in here. And take that from experience from me playing for seven hours straight. It is so hard. And I mean, <laughs> this guy's hitting him left and right, but you definitely need teamwork. You definitely need skills. And you need to take your time. You, from almost every goal that I made, um, I think I'm going to make one pretty soon but you use the field to your advantage like practice your aerials I know a lot of us love just flying around and hitting it but you definitely need control and there you go <laughs> there you go big boy that was me look at this goal I, let's just take a moment oh so pretty <laughs> but no really it's you need to take your time it's just like in basketball you wait until you have a shot you don't just shoot you wait till you have a shot and Rocket League definitely got that out there um, things that I don't like about this is the stadium is so small compared to the others and you definitely feel it this game's two on two and already I feel like I feel like if I was playing four on four with two people it is so there's so much going on like I, I was getting frustrated because we keep bumping into each other. We would keep doing this and that. And I'm like, how? Like, it's two on two. You, normally, one guy is waiting for the shot. The other one's, like, trying to center it. Uh, maybe it's probably just because everyone's just barely playing this for the first time. But no, it is crazy. I think the stadium is definitely way too small. Uh, don't get me wrong. I had fun. But maybe in the future something that they could improve on maybe extending it a little bit out more because you would hit it from one wall and it would be on the other side in like three seconds it is crazy but it nonetheless it's still fun like I said you definitely need teamwork and you definitely need if not strategy just take your time to get the shot and if you're good at aerials, you'll be good at this. Because if you can get that first shot, obviously my partner just missed it. You will be good. Um, not only did Rocket League only update this, I mean release this. They also, now you have the NBA flag packs. And if you don't know, you can put flags on your car. Obviously I can't. I'm writing it down in the DeLorean. But normally I'm playing DeLorean or uh, the Batmobile. But for you NBA fans, you can now put some flags on your stuff because why not, you know? Uh, and that's something I've always appreciated about Rocket League. They will always do something to make you want to come back. Like, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I, I love playing basketball. Like, if there's a basketball hoop and a ball in my hand, I will start shooting. Uh, but if there's a team, don't, yeah, don't get me, get me started. But no, it's it's awesome that they're doing this. Just like with the hockey, just like with this, they're they want to make their fans happy. And uh, although the soccer is on point, bringing stuff like this. Oh, there we go. 
Sorry, I got distracted by my beautiful... Look at this. Boom. <laughs> like I said, practice your aerials. I'm not that good at them, but I I got a little better. I'll, po I'll post some clips later. Um, I, I, I lost track of what I was talking about. No, Rocket League is the kind of company that... Well, not Rocket League, but the people who make Rocket League definitely likes to keep their their players happy and definitely wants to keep them coming back like I've been stuck on the division for the past like month and a half and when I when they said they were gonna release hoops I put an alarm on my phone I was like all right midnight I'm gonna play this uh, I should have checked Twitter because it, they actually released it at four instead of midnight and I was like damn it oh well but that's okay Anyway, <laughs> it's a, an amazing thing that they're doing. They, I do, they're keeping their fans happy. Like I said, now you can get NBA flags. Now you can play hoops. Like hockey, I'm not a big hockey fan. Nor am I a big hockey fan of the Rocket League map. Um, I'll still play it. It's fun. It's something different that will keep us just interested in this game. And that's awesome that this company is doing that. Anyway... I'm going to let you guys with that, leave you guys with that, and, man, sorry, <laughs> I'm just watching this game also. No, but if you guys have any more questions, I'm, I'm going to actually be making some more videos on Rocket League Hoops. I spent most of the night, I wasn't just playing for six hours straight, but I was actually playing with the different camera modes and seeing what was better, playing and really studying every single goal that was made and how they were made from my experience um, playing a lot of them were made off walls so definitely definitely use your stadium because it will help you and <laughs> you don't rush in this game take your time and you will get the results that you want Thanks for checking me out guys, make sure you click that subscribe button, I will be posting some more videos on hoops, as well as something that I forgot to mention, uh, Rocket League actually also released a new map, it's called Cosmic in the Rocket Lab, so if you haven't already played it, make sure you check that out. And follow me on Twitch, I am going to be twitching, not literally twitching, I'm going to be streaming Rocket League hoops, I'm going to be streaming the division and as always some GTA 5 and also I'm breaking down Sunset Overdrive into parts so for your viewing pleasure thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys next time <laughs>